How a fission bomb works. The uranium powered gun barrel type nuclear fission bomb was simple and it was easy to produce. In fact, the nuclear physicists who built it believed that the chance that, that the probability in which it would fail was so slim that they didn't even test it. This, however, was because there was a shortage of weapons grade uranium back then. A small subcritical amount of uranium was located at one end of the bomb, and this was the target. The uranium was enclosed in a neutron reflector cylinder to maximize the chain reaction. Located on the other side of the nuclear bomb, there is another set of subcritical mass of uranium carefully positioned in front of packed conventional explosives. How does the reaction work? Basically, when the bomb reaches a certain altitude, the explosives are primed to detonate via chemical signals. This powers the uranium down the barrel to collide with a stationary target uranium at a high speed. A special device fires neutrons into the uranium collision and begins the fission process. The process works by hitting the heavy uranium atoms with, a, with high speed neutrons in order to split it into more neutrons and uranium and further, further continue the process. This releases a massive amount of energy in the form of thermal and nuclear energy. When it exploded above the Japanese city of Hiroshima, 80,000 people on the ground died instantly, and many more died due to injuries and or radiation sickness.